Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Prophetic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress JS and REST API tutorial for beginners. And this is our part 11th of this video session series in which we will discuss about that how can we update post using WP remote post function. And also guys, if you are beginner to this channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video session to make the clear vision about WordPress JS and REST API tutorial. So in our last video session what we have discussed, we have discussed that how can we create a post by using PHP file with WP remote post function. Okay, so if you are new to this channel guys means this is your first video then I strongly suggest you that please watch our previous video session to make the clear vision about WordPress JSON REST API. Okay, so in our last video session what code actually we did, this is the code that we have written. Okay, where we have included a file called wp-load.php. Why we have included by use this function. This function actually requires this file needs to be included inside this file. Okay, so this is the basic code that we have written here. This is the URL. By the help of the, uh, this URL, we actually have made request by using this function. We need to pass all these parameters including to this URL. Okay. So what will happen if we remove this header section not pass inside this function. So if we remove this suppose if we have removed this header section inside this WP remote post while creating any new post. Okay. So what will happen next? So if you go to the browser just open up copy this URL paste it here and let's say that create post.php just press enter. So if I zoom this browser, so just zoom that, so that the post with the title has been created. So if we go to the WordPress setup, post section, if we refresh this page, so now we can see that no post has been created. This is because really the post has not been created. Okay, so what actually error we are getting? So if you go to editor, just let's print R, so let's say echo, just write PRE tag, and let's say that echo, and this is body response okay so let me make that inside this function called print r and let me pass that okay so if we save this file just to get rid of all these things right here so if we save this file refresh this page so this is the value actually we are getting that rest cannot create sorry you are not allowed to create post as this user so this is the important guys that why actually we have passed the header section inside this function to make any of the remote post means any authenticated REST API call you need to pass the header section along with username and the password. Okay, So that's why we have included the header section to make use of the basic authentication plugin also. So if we have remembered then we have actually installed called JSON basic authentication. By the help of this plugin why we have passed the header section inside this function. So if we make undo of all these codes, so this is the value we have passed inside this WP remote post. Okay. So now if we save this file, so let's make this is my post number four. If we save this file, again refresh this page. So this is the post has been created. Okay. So if we refresh, so this is the post actually we are getting. Okay, so in this video session guys, what actually we are going to do, we are going to update our post that we have created. We have created so many posts as you can see. Okay, so if we want to update any of the posts, then how can we update these posts by the help of this file? Okay, so to basically to achieve this task, let's go to this website. Okay, we need to update our post, so just scroll down. This is update a post. How can we update a post? So basically we need to follow this URL. Okay, so just copy this value. Go to editor. Let's say that instead of this wv2 post, we need to write the URL something like that. Means we need to write the URL like localhost, REST API, this is our site URL. WP JSON and this is the route that we need to include with the post ID. We need to include the post ID, what post actually we are going to update. Okay, so to basically just make copy of this thing. So just I have copied, go to editor. Let's replace this URL. So just I'm going to create another file called update post. Okay, so just create post, copy all these contents, just paste inside this file. And let's say that just go to this file, just make copy of this route. 
go to editor again and replace this URL by this URL so all we have to pass the post ID along with this route okay so if you go to administrator panel if we want to update this suppose post this is my post number four just click on edit so this is the ID actually we are getting like 42 this is the post ID so if we just make copy of that pass inside this URL replacing this ID variable it is 42 so now what actually we are going to do we are going to update the post by using this route with the post ID 42 okay so now this is WP remote post everything okay so let's replace this variable post update okay so just get rid of all these things okay so just replace remove all these things remove all these things also so now let's say that bypassing this URL in, inside this function this is the header section that we have to include and now inside this body section what actually this body section will do after passing this ID it will update this post by these values okay so let's say that this is my post for updated value okay so if we save this file just make copy of this body response and let's say that print r and this is body response okay so let's say that echo and using pre tag to make it some formatting so if we save this file go to browser and just replace instead of this create let's say update post just press enter okay nothing actually we are getting let me check that and why actually we are not getting something so let's say that this is the function that we are using authorization we have set successfully these are the parameters we are passing correctly and now this is the variable actually we are collecting the response right into this variable so if we copy this variable okay guys because we have actually replaced or renamed this variable actually we have just remove this or replace this also okay so just change the name if we reload this page once more so this is the response that actually we are getting okay so just go to administrator panel click on all post so this is as you can see this is my post updated value so successfully we have updated our post by using this route and the function called WP remote post so again let's say that just get rid of that let's say that if or you can say the if not empty body response okay so if it is not empty means we are getting something right into this variable so let's say that echo body response and inside this body response object because it is an object inside this one object we have a value called title so just call the title and inside this title there is an another object and this is of rendered so just make copy of that and let's say that here okay and let's say that has been updated okay so if we save this file again go to browser just reload this page so successfully this is my post for this is title updated value has been updated so successfully we have updated the values right here okay so the key concept means on the summarization basis what actually we are getting that if we want to update any of the WordPress posts basically we need to pass the ID we need to pass the ID with this URL okay and how actually we are getting this URL so if we go to what administrator panel again just click on this visit site after getting this URL you need to write called WP JSON okay let's say that WP JSON by tapping WP JSON you are actually getting all these things okay and how we retrieve the URL so just make copy of all these contents go to JSON editor online paste all the contents inside this editor click on this icon also this icon and inside this routes array if we scroll down then inside this post section as you can see inside this post function we have a route called and this is the post ID okay this is the post ID we need to pass along with this route what actually we did right here okay so successfully bypassing this post ID here you can actually update all your post contents bypassing these parameters into the body section okay so successfully we had seen that how can we update post by using WP remote post function okay so in the next video session we will see that how can we delete a post by using this function okay so if you have any query in this video session guys then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day